In this video I want to show oscilloscope views from signals inside a superheterodyne radio receiver. The principle of a superheterodyne radio receiver is that we use a variable frequency oscillator that generates a sine wave and that's here. This is the VFO, variable frequency oscillator. This is the coil from that oscillator. You see the tuning capacitor. And we can tune this uh, VFO uh, to a slightly higher frequency compared to the signal that is received on the antenna coil. This is the antenna coil. He will receive um, all kinds of frequencies within a shortwave band. So this coil with this capacitor forms a tank circuit and has a certain bandwidth. Perhaps it's 2 MHz wide on shortwave, so we can tune it to approximately 6 MHz or so. And uh, with the help of this variable frequency oscillator, we create a new frequency. So that's what the mixer does. It's called mixer, but in fact nothing is mixed. Uh, the mixer uh, creates a new frequency. And that's a product from these two frequencies, the frequency generated here, and the frequency received on the antenna coil. And the mixer creates a few products, um, but only one product is filtered out, and that is the 455 kilohertz. And that's in fact the difference in frequency between the VFO and the frequency received on the antenna. Now we have a carrier wave from 455 kilohertz that's modulated by the signal on the antenna. It's amplitude modulated and um, that, is, that frequency is amplified and here it is detected by a diode. So here we take the audio signal out of the carrier wave. This is a diode, it's here. This is the capacitor connected to the diode to filter the EF frequency out, the carrier wave out. But okay, this is a, a very short explanation. Uh, at first we're going to study the oscilloscope view here on this location. It is after the first high frequency stage. So here we can find the amplified antenna signal. And that's here. This is the amplified antenna signal. And I switched off the VFO now. In fact you can see that the, uh, the antenna signal is also already amplitude modulated. I tune in, I tune in now to Deutsche Welle, the Ger a German radio station on shortwave. And um, one moment. I don't hear anything. Oh yes, okay. Um, I can't hear anything because this is uh, the German radio station, but I have the VFO not connected. But in fact, we are receiving here um, a short, a strong shortwave station on six, approximately six megahertz or so. Now I'm tuning the antenna capacitor. When I switch the VFO on, we can see that the radio strays also the VFO signal into the high frequency stage. Here this is the VFO signal. This is a sine wave from the VFO. Switch it off now. And now we're going to tune in. Okay, we're going to look to the next uh, stage in the radio. And that's here at the output from the EF. Amplifier that's here. 
I connected the probe here and that's here in the circuit. So here we find the amplified um, carrier wave from 4 or 5, 5 kilohertz modulated by the radio station but it's not detected. So this is what the signal looks like. So here you see the 455 kilohertz wave. You can also see that the signal strength from the short wave station uh, varies very much. So I'm tuning in with the VFO now. And this is a strong the, uh, German radio station. You can very see very well that the signal is modulated in amplitude here. And now we go to the next stage. After the diode, here we find the detected radio signal. This is this, this location. The filter uh, capacitor removes the carrier wave and now we only have the audio signal. So it's an envelope detector. And this is the audio signal, the pure audio signal when the carrier wave is removed. And here you can see it better because it's amplified here uh, by a one transistor stage. So this is the demodulated um, ampli uh, amplitude modulated signal. It's the pure audio without the carrier wave. So I hope this was a little bit helpful. It took me a long time to um, make this video. I tried it for four times, but I hope this is a little bit informative. So in brief, the antenna coil with the tuning capacitor on the antenna coil here. The variable frequency oscillator here with the VFO coil. Tuning capacitor from the VFO. The signal is injected in the mixer here. The mixer is set to its working point by this uh, potentiometer. It sets the mixer in the nonlinear mode, and that's necessary, this curved characteristic from the transistor, to make the detection possible. The first EF tuned to a very sharp peak on 455 kilohertz. Second EF, second uh, EF transistor. This is the um, LF transistor, low frequency. This uh, acts only as an audio amplifier. And you can see that all the transistors are set to their working points with the help of potentiometers. They are here. This is very, um, very necessary because otherwise the circuit um, doesn't work. And this is the high frequency stage here.